Hi everyone and welcome to Johnny How To and a quick tutorial on metadata and what it is and why we want to care about it. So first off, what is metadata? So basically metadata is the information that your camera, whether it's a phone, a DSLR, any type of image capturing device is going to typically store inside of the file itself. So if you view the file, like I'm viewing this file here in Photoshop, you don't see that, but it's extra text information that you can always pull up and access. So for instance, in Photoshop, which you can obviously use on a Mac or a PC, if I go up to File and then File Info and the second tab down, Camera Data, I can see that this photo was taken on an Apple iPhone 5S. It tells me that I was using the back camera and gives me information on that lens, but then also it tells me more information which might be useful to me as far as exposure. So it was taken with a shutter speed of 1 2 50th of a second with the, at a f-stop of 2.2 and the ISO was 32. So I can get this information inside of Photoshop either on a Mac or a PC. Now what if you don't have Photoshop or you don't want to have to open up Photoshop? You can get that information just as easily on the File Explorer itself on the Windows OS. And you can do this very easily on a Mac OS as well, but obviously I'm on a PC right now. Maybe I'll do a Mac OS version of this as well so you can see how easy it is to do on there as well. But being on a PC, how can I get that information? So I'll go and select the file and I'll right click on it. And it's gonna go off screen for the screen uh, capture right here, but I'm going down to properties, the very bottom option. I'll left click on that. And then in the window that pops up, I'll go ahead and on the third tab over, I'll click on details. I'll scroll down a bit. It'll give me information on the image first, but if I keep on scrolling down to camera, it'll give me basically the same information, maybe even a little bit more. So camera make and model, this is a Canon 5D Mark III. The f-stop was a 1.8, and the exposure was 1 125th of a second at an ISO 400, and the focal length, meaning the lens in this case, is 50 millimeters. So you can get the same information in the regular Windows File Explorer as well. So uh, that basically wraps this up, but why is this information important? Well, you might wanna know how the photo was taken and whether you were manually dialing these settings or the phone or the camera, whether it's DSR or anything of that sort was doing it automatically, you can now know how that information was taken. And in certain cases, in this information will actually record where the photo was actually taken, which you may or may not want to have available when you distribute a photo. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time on Johnny How To.